So the financial independence community is a group of people who have discovered that it's possible uh, to retire much sooner than we've been told. I mean, we, we've all been told that uh, traditional retirement age is 65, and uh, you're gonna be lucky if you retire at 65. I see news articles every day about how, you know, the new reality is we're all gonna be working after 65 till we're 70 or 75. Uh, and the financial independence community has discovered that, oh, if you look at the math and you increase your savings rate, then you're gonna be able to retire much sooner than that. Again, it comes back to savings rate. Everything in financial independence comes back to savings rate because that is the key. And savings rate is essentially the difference between what you earn and what you spend. The way I frame it often is it's like profit for a business. Because uh, when you talk about savings rate, people's eyes glaze over. Uh, but if you talk about profit, everybody understands what profit is, right? It's the difference between what a business earns and what they spend to manufacture or to provide their service. Uh, so savings rate is the same idea except for it's applied to your personal finance, to your household finances. And the greater your profit is, or the greater your savings rate, the quicker you can pursue whatever goal you want to achieve, whether it's financial independence or sending your kids to college or buying a home. The more you rely on other people, the greater uncertainty there is, right? Because you can't control what other people do. You can't control what the government does. You can't control uh, what your parents do. The thing that you have the most control over in your life is yourself, your actions, uh, and what you choose to do. And so while it's possible that in the future, yeah, maybe you might inherit some money from your parents, maybe government will provide social security, the thing that's gonna make the greatest difference and the thing you have the most control over is boosting your savings rate, uh, cutting your spending, boosting your income. And that's the thing that's gonna give you the biggest drive and the biggest push towards financial independence. So no, it's not a cult. It, it, it's really a wide variety of people. Now there's a huge subsection of people who are like engineers because this really appears, uh, appeals to the engineering mind for whatever reason. So the pursuit of financial independence, the, all the optimization involved and all that really appeals to kind of an engineering mindset, but it's not something that's exclusive for engineers. Uh, there are all sorts of people who get interested in financial independence and wanna pursue it who don't have technical backgrounds. It can be difficult. I mean, it's the concepts are easy. On the surface, all it is, is uh, again, cutting your spending, boosting your income. So on the surface, that, that's an easy thing, right? So the math isn't difficult. The math is super, super simple. And that's the thing, a lot of people wanted, when you talk about financial independence or retiring early, a lot of people think, oh, this is some sort of scam. It's not a scam, it's just math. The thing that's hard though, is the psychology and the emotion behind it because we're not robots. Now maybe engineers are robots, but most of us are not. Um, and so we have these very real wants and needs. It can be tough to balance the wants and needs, the things that we want out of life with creating a high savings rate because fundamentally, if you want to increase your savings rate, you're sacrificing some experience today in order to have something else tomorrow. A lot of people do think that it's boring. A lot of people think that financial independence is deprivation, that it's sacrifice. And there's no doubt that if you're wanting to pursue financial independence, you're giving up something uh, in the present uh, in order to have something in the future. And I think everyone in the financial independence community, the people who decide to do this, they're doing it because they think that that future thing is more valuable than having more stuff now.